Do you know that spending time doing an activity that you enjoy can help improve your mental health and well-being? Well, research shows that people with hobbies are less likely to suffer from stress, low mood, and depression. Having a hobby helps us unwind from our daily activities, and it is also a great way to spend your free time because it will make you feel happier and relaxed. Your hobby is something that you do for your benefit and not of others. Sometimes, it is all we need to feel good about life and develop a positive outlook on specific things once again. Winston Churchill once said, To be really happy and really safe, one ought to have at least two or three hobbies and they must all be real. The truth is that, when you don't have a hobby, your life may end up becoming boring and perhaps demanding. It could eventually lead to an unhealthy circle that is capable of ruining your performance at work life and your relationship with loved ones as well. Dave Barry, an American author and columnist said, There is a very thin line between hobby and mental illness. So whether you choose reading, swimming, learning a new skill, singing, or doing anything outdoor, it doesn't matter as long as you love that activity. So in this video, I'll share with you 9 benefits of having a hobby and enjoying leisure time. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on other exciting videos like this. Number 1. Hobbies keeps you in better physical health. Hobbies that involve physical activities can help you stay in great shape because they keep you active without necessarily visiting the gym. Studies have shown that engaging in leisure activities that involve several physical activities can help deal with conditions associated with blood pressure, total cortisol, waist circumference, and body mass index. It can also result in improved productivity. Imagine a person who wants to lose weight and decides to join a kickball team for practice after work, and another person who thinks waking up at 5 every morning to run on the treadmill is a better approach. Which of these two parties is likely to achieve their goal? Well, I guess it's pretty apparent that the one who joins a kickball team is likely to achieve their weight loss goal faster because joining a football team is a fun thing to do. So, it doesn't look like forcing oneself to exercise, which makes it seem like a chore. It means that the one who joins the team isn't likely to give up on this new activity because it is something enjoyable. Number 2. Hobbies are great stress relievers. Engaging in a new hobby can help provide an outlet for releasing stress. Hobbies are mostly pleasurable activities that allow you to take your mind off the demands of your daily life or negative emotions. In simple terms, hobbies are healthy distractions from work and personal troubles. Although the idea of including an extra activity to the list of things you have piled up can sound like stress, when it is an enjoyable one, then there is nothing you would look forward to more than that time of the day where you have to do it. When you eventually focus on it, you will get into the flow of it and all of your stress will seem to fade away. Number 3. Hobbies Promote Mindfulness Hobbies help you stay in the moment, taking your mind away from all the stress thoughts and activities that you surround yourself with every day. As long as you enjoy what you do, your focus will be in the present moment, not worrying about the future or dwelling on the past. Although all hobbies will not provide the same level of physical and mental engagements and benefits, they will help you practice mindfulness techniques without even realizing it. However, the key is to choose an activity that you enjoy. Number 4. Hobbies encourage you to take a break. Because hobbies are activities that we look forward to doing, they encourage us to take a break from day-to-day -day stresses while giving you a sense of purpose in return. I'm pretty sure not all your hobbies involve playing throughout. Some of them include activities like reading, designing, painting, writing, learning a new language, etc. Doing things like this can help you feel productive. Hence, the more time you devote to them, the more you are likely to learn about the subject, giving you an increased sense of satisfaction so it's a balance of purpose and fun. Number 5. Hobbies allow you to explore yourself and your talents. The truth is that you never honestly know what you are capable of doing until you try. When you do, you just might be surprised at some of the things you will discover about yourself, including the things that you are good at 
and those that you are terrible at doing. Number 6. Hobbies prevent you from wasting time and creating bad habits. Boredom is responsible for a lot of misbehavior around us and it comes mostly as a result of having way too much time on your hands. Does this mean that we can't take time off work to relax, have fun, etc. because we want to avoid a situation of getting bored? Of course not. Thanks to hobbies, you can fill up your free time by engaging in productive activities. Hobbies keeps you out of trouble and help relieve boredom. So instead of sitting around and waiting to be entertained by just anybody or event, you can lose track of time by engaging in some of the activities you enjoy doing so much. Number 7. Hobbies can provide new challenges Like everything else, learning a new hobby can be a little challenging because you are likely to be bad at it in the beginning. The difference, however, between learning a new hobby and something work-related is that with work-related challenge comes stress, which is a result of pressure to deliver. In the case of learning a new hobby, however, your interest in it pushes you to do better and take up the challenge to learn it even more. Number 8. Hobbies make you more interesting Your hobbies can make you have some fun stories, experiences, skills, and knowledge to share with others. The thing about this is that people will find you interesting to be around with and they will always want to be in your company because you have specific perspective that differ from others. For instance, say you are learning a new language, chances are you will know more about that country than others. It means you have more facts and exciting things to say about that country whenever there is a discussion around it. Number 9. Hobbies can boost your career Having a hobby can help you handle work-life stress and think creatively as a result. Here's the thing. Having a hobby shows employers that you have passion and a drive to do something with your time. Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg once pointed out that hobbies and side projects are one of the best ways for people to show passion and leadership in their personal life. Also, an additional advantage is that they can help provide extra income depending on how much time you devote to it. There you go. You can create a new hobby for yourself by taking 15 to 30 minutes daily to engage in it. It doesn't have to be outdoor. You can go for something simple and easy enough to practice in your home. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.